Hola, buenos dias guys. John here con baby dulce, baby candy. So early morning today and she's just like baby munchies that uh, as soon as she woke up, she said, hey, you want me to make some joints? I said, before, well, first she said, hey, you want to take a bong hit? I'm like, what the hell? First thing in the morning. I'm like, I guess he's all over. You want me to make you some joints? I said, okay, go ahead. Just grind it up a bunch and then what do you call it? Now she's making a more. She already made four of them and she's, she grinded up so much so she said you want me to make the rest i said all right fine because it'll just dry up today i wanted to make this video about the new problem that a lot of people are facing which is loneliness there's an article that says nearly one in four adults across the world not in the u.s across the world feel lonely a new survey finds feel very or fairly lonely as officials warn of a loneliness epidemic. It may seem like you're the only person in the world when you're feeling lonely, but it turns out there are a billion people who are feeling the same way. According to the new Meadow Gallup survey, nearly one in four adults across the globe feel very or very lonely. The statistic could have been even higher as the poll just represents 77% of the adult. And it's used by Meta, so these are just the people that are on Facebook. What about the people that don't even have Facebook? So the survey spanning 142 countries asks a range of ages. In general, how lonely do you feel? It found that the highest rates of loneliness are felt among young adults, 19 to 29, with 27% feeling very or fairly lonely. And the lowest rates were reported amongst older adults, 65 and up, with 17% feeling very or very, very lonely. Meanwhile, majority of the adults, 45 and up, report not feeling lonely at all while less than half of those younger would say the same so let's go back to the ones the youngest the younger adults feeling the most loneliest 19 to 29 that's because around that age <clears throat> You're out of high school at 19 already, and a lot of people don't go to college, so you don't have that social surrounding around you, and you don't see your friends anymore. So you don't have your social circle anymore, and then uh, you're most likely just around your coworkers, to which most of the time you don't like your coworkers, you don't get along, you're not very much in common with your coworkers, and so that's another call. You don't have real friendships or connections, which you could be around a thousand people and still feel lonely. Like I used to feel that when I would go to Vegas a lot and uh, even Hawaii, because like during the day when all my friends were working, I would just go and entertain myself, you know, and Hawaii and Vegas are full of tourists, right? So you're surrounded by hundreds of thousands of people but there's no connection so you have that lonely feeling still still and it's the same thing with the whores you know you come to the clubs and then it's full of whores and uh none of which you have any real connection to most of them are there just to get your money and leave you after and look for the next guy that they're gonna find money from so just having people around you doesn't mean that you're not gonna be lonely it's uh you know like without real connection without building anything worth meaningful you're not gonna have any kind of that it's not gonna cure this loneliness thing and here's the second thing that's causing it with the young people. They're all on their phone. They don't know how to socialize. They don't know how to get out there. They don't have people skills. And uh, if they're on their phone all day, oh, see, go ahead. see? And when they're on their phone all day, it doesn't change when they're around people and in the, in, in the, same, the same thing happens. They're on their phone. They're not building any connection at all with the people that they're around. So of course they're gonna feel lonely. They ain't building connections online and they're not building connections when they're in person at the same time. Look around next time you go to a restaurant and look at the people, even the families. When they're there, they ain't even talking to each other. A lot of people are on their phones, you know, they're on their phones even while they're eating. It's uh, pretty bad. And this is why things are just getting worse, you know. They don't know how to, to talk and converse and have these communication skills that are essential to asking the right questions, to telling good stories or a lot of people don't even have good experience or stories to step to tell so you know they're just on their phones all day so what, what are they accomplishing if they're on their phones all day nothing so that in turn leads to what kind of interesting stories can they tell nothing oh so what did you do yesterday mm, nothing i just was on my phone all day and was on facebook and instagram so that's the reality of not just young adults even the people that are older that are just on their phones not, not doing anything in life they're not they're getting caught up on the phones and Instead of being out there in the world and experiencing things and building connections and 
you know, that's one reason why I love the surf spot so much that I go to that's secluded and there's bad signal, there's bad internet. And because it forces people to not be on their phones, it forces people to actually be like how it was back in the day before cell phones came along and ruined everything and social media. So I've, I've observed that and noticed that when I go to places, I, I like going back in time when there's nothing and it just forces you to be in the moment and enjoy the people's company that you're around and observe what's going around instead of your face glued to your phone like this, you know? So let's go, keep going. In terms of gender, there's little difference in rates of being lonely in most countries with 24% of men and women feeling very or f fairly lonely. And that's because both men and women are both using their phones and both men and women are doing the same thing. So that's why it's the same thing. But in 79 countries, Rates of self-reported loneliness are higher for women than for men. And this isn't from the Facebook, it's from the fa uh, self-report people that are reporting that they're lonely. The, the rates are higher in women. And that's probably because women can't even get along with other women. So, you know, they're always talking shit about each other. They hate each other. And so that's why it's understandable that they're a higher rate of loneliness. But you put some guys together, they'll find something to fucking talk about and uh, get along, they'll make it happen if they have to. Although significant loneliness has been on a decline since the reported peak of the pandemic, the results of the survey show 49% of people don't report being lonely at all. And major federal organizations and officials have recently called attention to the dangers with the US Surgeon General declaring loneliness is that it is the nation's latest epidemic in May. Loneliness is associated with greater risk of cardiovascular disease, dementia, stroke, depression, anxiety, and premature death the Surgeon General weren't warned in a report. The mortality impact of socially disconnected, similar to that caused by smoking 15 cigarettes a day, and even greater than that associated with obesity and physical activity. And that's because when you're lonely, you're not secreting the endorphins, the happiness to, it's like you're depressed. And when you're depressed, your immune system goes down and everything, so anything can attack your 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 health and your body at that point. Hola, what's up guys? Had to interrupt the video to bring you guys an important announcement. A lot of you guys watching, I've been receiving tons of messages from guys that are virgins, that haven't been laid yet, that want to get laid, and maybe guys that have already been laid, but they're not getting access to girls where they're at, so they want to get laid still. You know, these guys are getting taken advantage of, reaching out to escort strippers or whatever they're reaching out to, wasting all that money. If you really need help that bad, and you want to do it that bad reach out i'll help you guys we'll discuss whatever it is that you're facing it can also be other stuff maybe you're heartbroken and need advice or need something to help you get over that heartbreak maybe you have a wife or a girlfriend where you feel like she's cheating on you or things just aren't the same i can help you analyze the situation and get over it i've gone through a lot of relationships already with girls from all over the place all over the world different places you know so i've seen all the things that they do been in long-term relationships so i know what a marriage feels like I know what divorce feels like. I haven't been divorced, but in a long-term relationship to where I felt like divorced pretty much. And so I've seen a lot of people go through it and I can help you guys that are going through these type of things too. If you need help, maybe like going to another place, I can put you in touch with people in different places in part of my network or find people that are viewers as well that can help. That's why I'm doing this to get the word across of the things that I can help you with. Not just that, if you own a business and you're accepting credit cards and you're still paying the fees, you don't got to pay the fees no more. You're pretty much just throwing your money in the trash. You're better off just using it on yourself, splurging, taking a vacation, enjoying like this in a pool in a tropical location somewhere where there's nothing but palm trees around and tropical birds that kind of stuff where the weather's perfect you could be doing that instead uh, or if you uh, know have some friends or family that own businesses that are still wasting their money paying the fees you now i'll be able to help so i can help with a number of things and i'll be glad to you know put you guys in the right direction same thing if you guys got want to go to costa rica i got friends out there cancun i got friends down there philippines i got a lot of friends out there so if you guys need help on any of that stuff reach out I'll be glad to put you in contact so that way you can have a better experience all around. All right, talk to you guys soon. Adios. So if you're lonely, you need to get out there, find some like-minded people, go find a group. And so this is like part of the reason why I made the Jedi group is because a lot of these guys out there don't have any real connections, don't have any friends to tell their stories to. These guys might be being adventurous and going to a lot of different places but they don't have anyone in their immediate social circle to tell their stories or to do the same things with or that get along or 
or are on the same level or the same mentality as that. So it's the same thing you have friends around you, but they don't like the same things. You can't tell them what you're doing in your real life. You can't be you and still feel lonely. And that's why once they, I had two meetups already in person with the Jedi masters and I, I did one for the young Jedis, but a lot of the young Jedis didn't show up because they ain't got the money, they ain't got the resources, but it was supposed to be a young Jedi meeting, but then all the young Je the Jedi masters came and showed up instead and we were laughing. I said, hey, you know what? It's funny that all the, uh, this was only supposed to be a young Jedi meeting, but it ended up being a ma Jedi masters meeting. And one of the masters said, well, you can understand if they're a young Jedi and uh, they open up their checking account and they only got $600 in their checking account. It's not very feasible for them to make it down here. And they all started laughing and all you know, that is true. You know, and that's why all the Jedi Masters and I didn't even give them much time. I just announced it and they all made their arrangements. They all came down, you know, had an amazing time. And here's the thing. All of them built an immediate instant bond with the other guys that were in the group. Even though they've never met or they don't know what they look like, they instantly formed a bond because of the connection that we share. You know, I vetted everyone out to the point to where... Like, all right, I think this guy's got what it takes and the other guys will get along with them and they share the same mentality. And so that's what ended up happening. It's exactly what happened, you know? And as we were sitting at dinner, I was sitting looking around. I had Kylie next to me and I said, look, Kylie, can you believe this? Cause she, everyone was talking to each other. And I said, look, all these people here, majority of them just met each other for the first time today. And me, it's the first time, my first time meeting them in person. I've seen them online on Zoom on the video call, but like uh, first time meeting them in person is not my first time too for a lot of them. A couple of, half of them I met and the other half I didn't meet in person yet. And I said, look, it's kind of crazy. You know, like I was sitting back thinking, observing everyone uh, talking and conversing. And I was like, I can't believe all these guys are here for me. And she's all, yeah, that's crazy. And then I said, even you, I told Kylie, I said, even you, you're here for me. She's all, yeah, look at that. And uh, so, you know, uh, it kind of was like a heartfelt moment for me, you know, like, you know, wow, you know, I've actually like done something good and brought people together and they all came out and uh, were having a great time and they made amazing friendships. And now they're all planning trips together and stuff. And it's exactly what I had envisioned when I had uh, decided to put this group together. And it, it's, it's now it's proven that the concept works and the people are becoming best friends and communicating with each other regularly, sharing stories getting advice, you know, all the advice that they're sharing is good. And so it made me happy to see it, uh, it really happy, you know? And so like, you're going to need to get out there and find a like-minded group of people that you can uh, communicate with, do things with, you know, go work out, go take trips, go surf with, if you like to surf, go do all the thing, go fishing, you know, golfing, whatever it is that you like doing, biking, find people that like doing the same thing and build that connection. And you'll have a uh, enjoyment you'll be doing physical activity at the same time you won't be glued to your phone you'll be actually building real meaningful relationships and connections with these people and by you doing things that you love if there's girls there you might meet a girl that likes doing the same thing and you'll have some stuff to talk about naturally that you both will have a smile on your face when you're talking about doing the things that you love like when i talk to other girls that surf you know it's like cool we talk about those, those different spots we surfed at how long they've been surfing where they've been you know their favorite spots that they love and it's just like we got this big smile on our face talking about the adventures and you know the big wipeouts that we had and like the different things to do at the different surf spots and it's like the 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 stories and the conversation topics can go on and on and on and it just feels natural. There's no awkwardness or anything and you never know, you can take a trip and uh, go, go surfing with one of the people you meet. Like for me, for example, like a surf trip, if I meet a girl that's fucking super down and loves surfing as much as I do, they might be down to take a trip and uh, go somewhere together and you never know what might happen. You might lead one thing might lead to another and before you know it, you're in bed together and then before you know it, you might be in a relationship together. <clears throat> so that's how it happens, you know. You know, I appreciate the outreach, the comments and the emails. And if you can share these videos with a friend or also at the very least, uh, just give it a like. It doesn't cost anything or take more than a half a second for you to click the like, because then what it does when you click like, YouTube will suggest the videos to other people that have the same interests as you. So that's kind of like how the whole algorithm works. And so that that goes and helps a lot too, you know, like if you're not writing comments or sending donations or whatever, pressing like and writing a comment helps greatly as well, you know, because then YouTube will know that you find it useful and that it'll start suggesting it'll know that it's a legit video that can help somebody and it'll start suggesting it to other people that are kind of like watching the same things that you're watching. Uh, so the, the last part of the 
article says, if you're feeling isolated, disconnected, the CDC recommends you start a conversation, whether it be with friends, family, or neighbors, or coworkers, online and in person. It also recommends volunteering in your community or finding hobbies with like-minded people. And overall, it recommends being kind to yourself as you aim to become connected again. And like I said, I just gave all the advice, kind of summarizing what this little last part of the article says about finding like-minded people, you know, and that's what, like I was saying, the Jedi group had put these people from different walks of life from different backgrounds, different businesses, different age ranges, and different parts of the country and the world, connecting them together. And now, instant bond, and now, <laughs> lifetime friendships. Monday? Sweat it. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's what... Uh, I got distracted by her titties. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I was saying the, the Jedi group is, is like a sample of that to where, you know... And the fact that all these guys had to pay to get in, and you know it kind of weeds out the people that are not serious and it only lets in the only people that are applying are people that are really serious and then on top of that i have to screen them out so I'll, they have to go through a couple hoops for them to join and that's what made the connections even fat grow even faster because they the people know that so like they instantly opened up each one of them when they met in person and they had this confidence that they can trust that this person is cool and like-minded because they trust my judgment and that I vetted them out to where I know that, okay, this person's cool. They got some stuff that they can contribute. They got a, a stories, knowledge in certain topics, whether it's not just for girls, guys, like it's not about just banging chicks, you know, banging chicks gets old and that's something we all enjoy, but it's not the end goal. Like the, the goal is to like have different connections to where we can help each other grow, like financially investments, businesses, physically fitness you know relationships things like that that the people are asking questions in their travel tips to different places that they want to go where are you going to ask these type of questions in your immediate network chances are you ain't got anybody that you can count on to ask the questions and get an honest answer to where the guys that i've led in the group are all givers not they're not takers i want to make sure that they're that that they're, they're not a bunch of takers what good is a group if they're all takers so you know no one will be contributing and no one will be benefiting so that's why i made sure that everyone's a giver so that way, when someone has a question on a certain topic, they will let give out all the things they know without expecting anything in return. And you won't get that anywhere else. You know, you can ask questions on forums and YouTube videos and make comments, but no one's going to answer you honestly and like give you the lowdown on like secret spots to go to and the real things that go on in that in those spots and where to go and you know things like that or business investment advice they ain't going to be willing to share their like business secrets with you or try to help you because for what they don't know who you are what do they get out of it nothing so they don't care if whether they answer or not but since we have this brotherhood then everyone's trying to help each other improve their lives then they're more willing what i've seen they're more willing to share parts of their life and parts of their business parts of their uh work and places they've been enjoying going secretly that they love that they don't want to fuck up for putting it on youtube or something like that and so they're more willing to share that information because you know it's like a vetted group of individuals that can be trusted so all right well that's it for now guys i hope you if you're feeling lonely take some of this advice and get out there and uh try and find your tribe and uh go enjoy get off the computer get off get out from fit playing video games get out from watching tv and get your phone put your phone away and go make some real connections in life use your phone to make the connections but then once you make those connections go out and enjoy and put your phone away and make the most of each moment and build those connections all right cool talk to you guys soon adios pura vida dice adios baby <laughs> bye guys it's finally here i got the jedi group open and I got a website put together for all you guys that can reach out to me instead of sending me an email. The website's 420john69.com and pretty much everything you need is listed out on the links above and the links ab links below. So if you're interested in a Jedi group, if you're interested in uh, getting help with a trip, relationship advice, credit card service, real estate, affiliate programs, pretty much anything that I'm talking about, business, investments, it's all on the website, so that way you guys can help me help you a lot faster. That way I don't miss out on any of the emails and it'll help me stay in touch with you guys even if something happens to the channel or the Instagram or whatever, if everything gets taken down or blocked by the platforms, I'll still have a way to get in touch with you guys. So go ahead and go to the website and pick whichever link that you need help on and fill out the information and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Look forward to seeing you there. All right, talk to you guys soon. Adios, pura vida. All right, guys, so 
I'm putting together these groups, the, my Jedi Master Inner Circle. So there's gonna be two levels to it. You're gonna have the Jedi Masters, which are the guys that are making 100K or more per year at least, and have been well-traveled, have a lot of experience, and know of different places that we can go to experience and find beautiful girls and be able to share amongst everyone and give advice to other people as well. And then we're also gonna have the young Jedis that maybe aren't as experienced or just starting out in life or are young and don't really have much money, but they wanna live this lifestyle. They're being inspired and they wanna start and learn and be able to communicate with each other. So that'll be the second level. And of course the Jedi Master level can will be in both so that you'll have the Jedi Masters also helping the young Jedis by answering questions uh, for people that are new and then the Jedi Masters, what we're gonna do is have like trips maybe once a year where all of us Jedi Masters come together and have go to a destination where we'll be able to experience all of this together and share and network and share financial advice, how to make money. It'll be how to make money, how to deal with breakups, how to meet girls, pretty much everything that you're seeing on my video, my videos that I'm teaching, we'll be able to network and do it in person and put, put together these groups and meetings for people and kind of be my, me as the connector, connecting all of you guys together. Cause I'm getting all these messages from people from all walks of life in different parts of the world. And a lot of you guys tell me that you don't have anyone to share these experiences with or share your stories and share all the knowledge that you've uh, accumulated throughout the years. And once you communicate with me, it's like you're spilling your entire story because you're so excited to tell someone finally, because there's no one else you can take. You can't tell your friends, can't tell your family, and there's no one you can ask questions. There's no one you can uh, share these intimate details with. And so I wanna bring you guys together with other like-minded people that are watching my videos and kind of wanna live this lifestyle as well. And let me know which Jedi master uh, or Jedi part level in the inner circle that you wanna be in. There's gonna be either the young Jedi or the Jedi masters. And the Jedi masters is gonna be for you guys to join. That's the, the screening process. And then we got the young Jedis for flux. That way it's affordable. And the fight is to screen out. Obviously, if you're doing well, is isn't much. And then it keeps out the people that aren't serious. It's kind of like the how to weed out the people that aren't really real. And of course, there's gonna be moderation and there's gonna be like con content moderation where I moderate who gets in and interview the people that wanna come in to make sure they're real. And that way, everyone that's in the group is actually there because they wanna be and that they share this similar outlook on life and wanna live this type of life and level up even more, make more connections, make more friends, kinda of like me and Tim, the 72 year old that you've been seeing interview and other people you haven't seen in my videos uh, that I hang out with. It'll be kinda of like being into the inner circle and make, make these kind of bonds that will last a lifetime and these kind of memories that we can share together and have some awesome adventures together. You guys will be invited once you pay the entrance fee and then we'll get you in. All right, guys, that's it. Adios, pura vida. You say adios, baby. Adios. <laughs> Bye. Well, like, guys, if you uh, coming down here to Cancun, Playa del Carmen, I have friends down here as well that can take care of stuff. If you're heading down to Costa Rica, I got friends in Costa Rica that can help take care of the stuff, you know, help uh, assist with transportation and activities and lodging and things like that. And then the business that helped me live this life is the credit card service business. So if you own a business and you're still paying the credit card fees, you don't have to do that anymore. Stop wasting your money be enjoying it every month instead of like whatever you're paying to the bank a thousand two thousand to the bank every month you take it and go on a vacation look at the ocean how beautiful it is down here and the weather is perfect it's so early in the morning I'm already sweating it's tropical and like uh, people are swimming down there if you could see and I, the only thing I wish that was down here is the that there was more waves but like I said if you own a business uh, you don't have to pay for the fees you can use it for vacation take your family out reinvest in your business or whatever it is you want to do on with it. It's just, it's way better than wasting it, paying it to the bank and getting nothing in return. So that's it. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you guys later. Adios.